so hi everyone in this video we'll be projecting this particular diagram you can see here the diagram in 3d you can rotate and check it out the way you want it the link to this on-chip file I have given I have provided in the descriptions menu so if you want to see this experience this intuitively interactively you can just open this file using any browser don't have to open it on your mobile because it may not work mobile browsers are not equipped with the technology to open these files but of course you can always install the on ship software the app on your mobile and with that open or with that app when you open this link it will open up perfectly and you'll be able to interactively see this 3d object acting on the screen okay so let us proceed to draw this i'll just put this diagram aside here in the side and these are the measurements that we have been given so using these measurements we'll have to start drawing this particular diagram so let me just draw again the xy line as usual XY. Next, I have to start drawing the top view because in top view we have this circle. So, in whichever view you have more number of circles, it's better for you to draw that view first and then you can always project that view to get the other views. So, I will be starting with the top view here and uh, yeah, the circle is the one I will be starting with. So, the first circle here you can see this is having diameter of 60. So, I'll take C into circle, click the point, and I'll choose diameter and the diameter given here is 60 next I'll, I'll need another circle for the hole now the hole diameter here is of diameter 30 next I'll take line now from this quadrant I'll take a straight line of 30 distance then I'll take a straight line downwards and from this coordinate I'll just draw a perpendicular line extra lines I'll just trim it off but TR yeah, double enter then I'll need this line over here so for that I'll just I'll first draw the middle line of what length of the length that is 50 that is here so of 50 length and uh, yeah the thickness here is 20 so from the middle I have to take 10 on both sides to make total distance of 20 so I'll take offset O enter 10 enter and click on the line and offset on both the sides join this endpoint and you can either completely remove this center line or extend it on both the sides and convert this into an axis line so you can always match the properties MA enter take the axis property apply it here and the solid line property on the remaining object of course you will also need a vertical line so take a vertical line match the properties of this axis and place it here at the center so now the top view is complete let me just pull this top view a little more down so that I'll have space for putting the dimensions you may see that I have not put the hidden lines of this hole I'll put this later after drawing the front view so in order to get the front view I'll just have to project it straight so I'll start here take it up to this perpendicular and then again above this the total height given here is 50 so I'll have to take 50 height and straight line here up to this point and then straight down close it I can just take one other projection line just to show that I've taken it correctly next up I'll have to draw these hidden edges one edge will come from here another will come from here and of course there is the axis match the properties and may enter and match the properties of whatever you want to show fine now these two lines you can see that they will not be visible because they are the hole and they'll be invisible on the inner side so you can see this cylinder it is not visible from the outside so when you see the front view the hidden edges are not going to be visible so what I have to do, have to do is I will have to apply the hidden uh, line type on that so MA take the hidden apply it here so that completes the view of this particular part of the shape next we have to take up this particular shape let us take out the dimensions again so here already we have taken the distance of 50 so I'll take it that and now here the height is 30 so take 30 and then it is joining with this top corner so just join with that top corner 
another line I'll just draw it here so that I can make this line thick so MA enter and give thickness to this now I have to pinpoint where is the circle the center of the circle is 20 mm above so I'll take offset O enter 20 of this line and another distance given is from this edge so from this edge it is 25 so again I'll have to take offset O enter 25 into from this line on the right side so this will create the center point of the circle so I just have to take circle C enter take this intersection point don't take any other point you have to take the intersection and then the diameter has been given as 20 so take diameter and feed 20 that's it that's how we get this circle done you can see here the circle is displaced so in case something like this happens you should make sure you move it back to the correct position so now what I'll do I'll just trim this off all these lines I'll just trim them off and I'll just scale this slightly to a larger value so scale it to a slightly larger value 1.5 let us say because the axis lines they need to be slightly larger than the diameter of the circle that's the reason I have done it like that and this circle of course it is a visible edge so it should be made dark now that the front view and top view are over the time is to draw the side view now for this we need to draw the right hand side view which will appear on the left side so I have to make a space on the left side of this diagram so I'll just stretch this diagram to the right so that I get some space on the left side so that right side view I can draw it here I have to draw next the x1 y1 line and I can start marking the distances so I'll have to take a projection line from the intersection point as center I have to draw the circle and then using these two lines as reference I'll have to trim off the circle then this point becomes the axis in the side view so I'll just take this line in the side view <laughs> next I'll apply the properties of the axis to all these lines and now I have to start building the side view now side view you can build by taking all these points as reference references from the front view and top view or you can just take the measurements and start drawing from the axis so when you see it from this side you will see the first thing is this face so that face is of 20 offset 20 distance that is 10 mm offset on both sides I have to take then the height of 30 this face will be visible so 30 offset height from here above and then I'll just have to trim it off so just select these for trimming and trim it off next this face is over this inclined face will also be visible so when you see this object in the right side view this is how the object will appear so this face is what we have drawn here and this the slant face is what we have to draw on the next so this slant face is what we have to draw on the next so when you see it in the right view that face will also be visible so we'll have to draw that next so in order to do that I'll just take a line from this point straight as a projection and then I'll just take a line from here and another line from here and then of course I'll have to just trim it off next I have to draw this cylindrical part Fine. so this face and this face both these faces they'll, they'll be visible so that I can do it by taking projection line from here and then O enter T enter that is offset through like this and then another offset through this okay and this and then I'll have to extend it up to the maximum height that is this one so I'll just extend it then I'll just trim it off so now the whole diagram is almost ready the visible edges must be made dark so I'll just copy this over to all these edges these are all the edges which are visible you can see that here in that side view all these edges are visible so I have made them dark there's one more edge at the bottom that as well I have to join it 
and of course apply the properties of thick line to this let me extend the xy line a little further next i have to show the hidden edges now hidden edges they are going to appear from here right so this circle is what we want to show so i can take projection of this or if you don't want to take the projections you can just offset this by the given diameter fine so i'll just have to click o enter then just click two points on this circle the distance between these two points will be automatically taken for the offset and we have we need this offset from the center line to both the sides of course i have to just trim off unnecessary lines fine so i can take this by the projections or i can just do it anyway they are going to match up so let us check whether they are matching o enter t enter and you can just offset through these points you can see this line and this one they are exactly matching they are exactly matching you can just zoom in and check that next i just have to apply the properties these are just in projection lines and these two lines they are hidden lines so i'll apply the hidden edges to this there is one more hidden edge there fine because there is a hole here that edge will also be visible so fine so you can see this cylinder over here when you see it in the side view these two edges they are going to be visible even though from outside it is not going to be visible but when you see the inside that will be hidden fine so luckily here you can see one of that hidden edge is exactly matching with the outer edge so this edge and this line over here they are exactly overlapping so that we just have to keep this visible line as it is and the lower hidden line we just have to draw it so you can just confirm it here you can just take and see a line here so this line is exactly matching with this visible edge so we'll just leave that as it is and this line in here that is the one we have to draw so i'll just trim this part and apply the hidden edge to it so that's it so that is what we need if you don't want all these projection lines and other stuff you can just delete it fine your instructor may ask you to do it in a slightly different way so whatever way your instructor tells you to do you can just try do it and after doing all this you just have to apply the dimensions and adjust it on the layout to take the printouts so thank you for watching this video if you like this you just like the button yeah, hit the like button on the video and of course subscribe to our channel for all our future updates thank you once again